So we'll go ahead and uh, and I'll introduce Kai, of course. Um, we were just talking, I think I, I met you maybe 20 years ago, but we actually got to work together with Victor Wooten at his camp. And, uh, and he impressed me then as, as a free thinking educator, which is far too rare these days. And uh, with some... We're good. Oh, you're good. It works now. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, but uh, the ideas and principles he shared then, Vic and I still talk about. And, um, uh, and I've seen him teach just recently over, we were in the... Wait, you're from Germany, right? Yeah. And you can't pronounce Germany Mark Neukirchen? No, Mark Neukirchen. Mark Neukirchen, yes. <laughs> Nobody else could pronounce it. But we were at this small small town with a big base camp. And uh, once again, his teaching is beautiful. His, his playing is unique and beautiful and virtuosic yet musical. And, uh, and as, as you get to know him as a person, it will make more sense. At least it does to me. Kai Eckhart. All right. Thank you, everybody. How's it going? should always be more important than the fact that you are individuals who are trying to make it in music, which you all know by now is challenging, but also it's the most rewarding and the most beautiful life there can be on a planet, is if you play music for a living and you get to evolve as you get paid, right? That's just like, it doesn't get much better than that, considering everything you see in the world today, including politics, 
global warming, economic downturns, homelessness, all the scary stuff that's happening around us, we do agree that music is something that's important for everybody. And I think it's my responsibility to point out the fact that we are living in a society where not everything can be trusted. The messages that you get about who you are and what your role is into this life really need to be analyzed very carefully. The reason I'm saying that is because if you look at the big picture, it really does make sense. There is a reason for why things are the way they are. And uh, I don't want to get too deep into this, but I'll put it to you this way. Stick to your community and make sure that your personal concerns don't outweigh the concern of everybody. Like We should always first think what's good for everybody. And then we can plug in our own personal thing. Attitude, if you look after each other, look, look for the weakest link, you guys. There's always one person in school or whatever who's kind of like the guy who's got some problems or the lady, you know, and you'll be like, mm, not very talented, kind of lost. Take good care of that person. Pay attention to, to the weak element because you're taking care of the insecurity within inside of yourself. What you do to another person, you do onto yourself. And then you build your house on a very solid place. You have that confidence. You go into the world. You feel good about yourself, regardless of whether you just made a bunch of money or whether you had a good day or a bad day. And that's what music can do, you guys. Like when I practice really well, I feel good about who I am even if I don't have money in the bank. And I'll be like, well, I don't have money in the bank, but somehow something is going to come along if I just hang on and keep my positive attitude, and it always does. So this tune is a 9-8, and uh, it's, it's the, the attempt to bring the funk together with jazz harmony and Indian classical music. That's the experiment, okay? Thank <laughs> you.